Well, I was I was uh, a tank commander myself. I had a, a group of soldiers who did exactly what what your father did, and and I know uh, how hard a job that is, and and how dangerous it is, and and I understand that uh, he has contributed a lot to to Ukraine's freedom. So I, I think that's um, your family has. A huge hole that you can never fill, but I think a lot, a lot to be proud of his memory, and I hope that we can help you uh, keep that alive because that's that's really important. Uh, the the reason when when uh, someone passes in war, uh, I think what gives all the their comrades comfort is to know that that memory will be kept alive, and and I think that's really important for. All the people fighting is to know that if anything happens to them, that that they won't be forgotten. So it's uh, it's really important to support support you in that. Thank you so much. Yes, Yuri, it's, not e it's not easy to work with uh, veterans, uh, as you know, as we know, uh, Sam. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I had uh, more than 20 veterans working in different years, at different times. Uh, someone uh, returned to the front line. Uh, they could not uh, keep uh, being at home. They could not uh, transform back to usual life. They uh, like gave uh, their hearts and uh, their souls to war and uh, you know for someone it is possible to come back to, to, to peaceful life to everyday life but for for, for part of them uh, it is impossible they always belong to to the feel of uh, of uh, of uh, of death and uh, the feel of enemy and when you when you're close to the borderline because most of them uh, return uh, for uh, for such positions as snipers as uh, you know as uh, uh, intelligence troops that are connected with the very high risks because uh, people they veterans they are in love with risks they want to to be close to death they want to feel you know, that it is uh, it is really important to to be there and they feel that uh, no one else uh, can uh, can do that job and uh, they feel a lot of responsibility so they they could not change themselves and uh, i think that uh, this is the only reason uh, Ukrainian army now is uh, fighting so uh, courageously and uh, uh, a lot of uh, brave, uh, responsible uh, men and women uh, are fighting because they feel that it's necessary for, for their future, for, for our future, for the future of our country and uh, they are more make high morale, morale helps uh, to to speak us uh, here to talk to feel uh, you know i just uh, uh, starting from a week ago i hear uh, near uh, like uh, uh, voices of uh, children they came back to kiev and they are playing in sand they are running around my office now, uh, here uh, in Belgorodka. And, uh, you know, it's the best, uh, the best, like, uh, honor, the best, uh, like, uh, the best award for, for me, for, I think, for, uh, for all of us uh, now. So, they they did this and uh, they continue to do this in Mariupol, in Kharkiv, in Izum, 
in uh, near Donetsk, uh, along all uh, front line of uh, Donetsk and Luhansk region. And uh, we just have to remember about this and uh, feel uh, like try to feel uh, their their hearts try to feel their uh, their self uh, self dedication and self uh, so they they estimate uh, the freedom higher than their uh, lives so not not a lot of uh, people uh, could could sacrifice uh, themselves uh, as much as uh, Andre, as much as uh, as other guys who who are ready to fight to death for us. Well, Yuri, Andre was involved in the opening stages of the the large battle we're we're observing near Kharkiv. Uh, which I think we would all agree is is critical uh, for for the future and safety of of the country, and um, you know he he definitely uh, has made a huge difference in in what he did um, you know for his colleagues and and those in that area, and and we can see that success continuing. And uh, you know, li listening to you talk, Yuri, it was very uh, struck by you know, my own recollections of of Iraq and and the, the family members I met, you know, of, of those that, that we knew, and and um, I know that for some people, when my little brother passed away, he he didn't die in, in military scenario. For some people, it's very important to talk about it. For others, they don't want to talk about it, and um, you know, everyone reacts differently. But uh, Lolita, I really appreciate your sharing because it it gives uh gives voice to your father and his memory and and um i hope it's uh helpful for you to share um do you have any other favorite memories of andre you'd like to share um maybe about uh recently or or before the war that uh what what do you what do you prefer to remember the most about um your father we had a lot of fun with him. He was also so funny person. Like we had all these kind of jokes between father and daughter. I shared with him all stories and about my work. So he gave amazing advice. He would like not only learn for himself, and he teached me a lot of things. And uh, in you know my laptop or something like this. Not really. Uh, really understand by that time, but he always came, even if it's in the middle of night and I need some help, he would be there uh, and he would help to everybody. There is a lot of stuff. We recently come back home because of the situation from Poland and, uh, uh, you know, there is everything in the house he could fix and we could not use even TV. So. I'll figure it out because he teached me how to how to do it all, and uh, he always gives us power to to go and to do something. Just do not be lazy. Uh, so my favorite memory because he made me this strong as I am right now. Yuri, uh, what about you from from your uh, time spent with Andre? What are your favorite memories? Uh, you know, yeah, we had some difficult projects uh, to execute, a bit, and also uh, we had some uh, time uh, to retrain because um, Andre was uh, working in uh, logistics uh, before before he came to army and before he. Come back to uh, to uh, civil uh, business life, and uh, he was working with Lithuanian uh, with Lithuanians. And uh, after I I remember our first meeting, 
he was uh, hesitating about if he if he can or if he could uh, you know because analytics uh, analytical work uh, demands a lot of patience a lot of uh, you know a lot of um, concentration and uh, i remember that uh, he was like hesitating and uh, we tried i i told him that it's okay to mistake uh, it's okay to to go as you want as far as you want and uh, i remember that he tried the best tried his best and uh, did everything in the best way uh, and uh, there is no need for control, no need for checking, because I, I uh, remember that uh, he will uh, he will do all he can, all the best. And even if I asked uh, him if uh, that is done or that is not done, he was like uh, you know irritating uh, about uh, about me asking such uh, uh, questions because. Uh, how could I, uh, you know, ask uh, these questions to him? Because he was so proud of his uh, work. He always tried to make his uh, uh, work very, very, very uh, good. And uh, it's uh, important memory. Also, he was not uh, like very public uh, person. He, he, he didn't want like to, to shine a lot. He was like a quiet person, and uh, and uh, like uh, very. I would say that he even could look uh, like a shy person from the first look, but he wasn't. He just uh, was uh, like self uh, proud, and uh, he didn't want to prove to anyone that he is. Uh, that he is who, who he is, and uh, we we sometimes argued about politi political uh, political future of the country, uh, and uh, I I try to explain that uh, uh, that in in political development we have to uh, to be like uh, you know try to to build and come be com compromising, more compromising, but he wasn't. He was not ready to, you know, to negotiate a lot. Uh, he he wanted uh, strong decisions and uh, sometimes radical decision. Um, maybe maybe he was uh, right because uh, when war began, uh, maybe you know that we have a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of persons who doesn't deserve uh, to be called like honored person. We have uh, some questions to some politicians uh, that uh, made a lot of bad things uh, to Ukraine. They came abroad. They negotiated with Russians, uh, and I think that uh, some mistakes, some some damages. Uh, allowed to be made by their betrayal so so andre never uh, tolerated them and uh, he was ready to to fight with them very radically and now i think that uh, when war is going it's necessary to be radical and it's necessary to not tolerate a lot of things that could be tolerated in in a regular peaceful life Lolita, do you have any anything else you'd like to share about your father, or you know, one of one of the things that my old commander used to say is, um, "Let us live uh, live in a way that would make them proud in terms of what uh, what they stood for." What what do you what are your resolutions going forward that you'd like to uh, live by, based on what your father? Um, taught you?
I'm not, I'm not sure if, well, can you hear me, Eric? Uh, I can hear you, Lolita is frozen. Uh, I see it in his, uh, his picture. Her picture is uh, frozen. Yeah, I, so I think there's some, some, there's something with the uh, connection. Lolita, do you hear us? So I also would like to say that uh, now I <clears throat> I call uh, almost every day to to our uh, veterans who are still uh, who are fighting and uh, and especially my uh, co-workers because uh, it's very painful you know because uh, you are working day on daily basis uh, and. Uh, now I remember that uh, from from the day uh, the, about last uh, uh, a week and a half I felt like you know I could could not concentrate on anything I could not uh, work uh, and I felt that uh, something wrong I, I like uh, like I feel like uh, I my parts of my uh, internal world is separated you know like disintegrated internally and. Uh, after a call of um, of um, uh, Andre uh, Andre's wife, uh, I understand that there is some uh, like internal connection inside us when you are working for a long time with uh, with a man or with someone else. Uh, there is something breaking, and you feel that pain. I don't know how it it could be explain uh, on physical, on theoretical, on spiritual level, but uh, there is something something wrong. I felt it, but I could not explain. And uh, after after that, I understand that, understood that it was, uh, what was the reason? Mm -hmm. yeah. Lolita, before, before we lost you, I wanted to just ask. Yeah. You. Yeah. If, if, uh, if I have the question. Everything yeah. is okay. It just was the problem with my connection. I wanted just to add one thing that uh, uh, that my father is also inspiring me, and you know I'm gonna tell this story of who he was and what he did to my children, and I'm gonna add all those funny stories and comments he would do if he will be alive. But I'm gonna do it for him so i just want to share the story and i um you can't imagine how much it means for me just to be here just to tell you this and um to other people also because i want him to uh, i want people to know that he was not only here uh, here for our family but just uh, for a lot of people who just can hear this story and understand how hard he tried to um, to reach this destination in his life because he truly wanted he wanted from the depth of his heart and um, and I'm proud of him there is no possibility I I can be proud of him mm -hmm. so it sounds like he worked really really hard do you do you remember that time when he was trying to get uh this role or what, what was the i remember this time he was trying so hard he didn't sleep at night he was preparing for exams he was uh, um you know he was even preparing himself without my mom some of his stuff and he put everything perfectly like an army like his back it looked perfect as if woman just put everything inside but he was so accurate in this and um, I saw how hard he tried how how many times he just stayed up late and uh, preparing himself for some stuff he also had a lot of books to learn every information about tank um, and uh, I, I saw him how how passionate he is in the same moment so he did what he liked to do and he was living this yeah well he sounds like he was truly passionate about the the work that he was doing and 
I, I, I know it's hard, but um, he was doing what he what he loved. Uh, I hope that has some small comfort for for you and, and your family. Um, is there anything, Lolita, you plan on doing uh, now going forward? Um, what 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 are you what are you going to do with your life? What are you, what's your family going to do um, going forward? How can how can we help you uh, in in whatever you your family is trying to trying to do to 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 move on and and keep keep your father's memory alive? What what what's some help you your family would need? I mean, we just wanted all of us. We wanted uh, the story be tell so um, so this is why i'm here now and um i want he his memory to like i want some people to read this story to be maybe inspired not by what he did in army but just to to have some you know some thought some people are too shy to do something you know some people are not going for what they love to do and they live their life in different ways so i want to also give something good to people by telling this story it's not only for honor of my dad but also i'd like to to help people it's from my side hmm. and my One family will definitely agree with this well, Lolita, one of the things I'd, I'd like to do uh, with our foundation as we as we move on is just keep allowing people like you to to share these stories and and hopefully speak to the people that served with your father and get their their recollections. Uh, I know how important that is for some people uh, to be able to to share their, their stories of their comrades who who didn't didn't survive uh didn't make it and and i think that's important so we'd love to keep helping you and yuri uh you know tell this story in terms of uh, meeting them and and uh you know i think ukraine has a huge debt to to all of these people um who've, who've sacrificed everything and i hope they'll take care of of you and your family but that's why we also want to give this to people like john and other people in our audience who can also uh help you out uh your family out uh going forward and uh you know keep telling those stories mm -hmm.